Hello friends, welcome to Math Coding Craft. Hope you all are doing great. So today we are going to do some fun with coding. So we are going to do coding on this interface. This interface is known as code.org. So maybe some of you will must be aware of code.org. It's an open source platform. Okay. So those who don't know, I'll just give a brief detail about what exactly this interface is. So this code.org, it's an open source platform. So you can use this platform to create many, lot many coding projects, okay? So to create many projects, you need to first log in onto this code.org interface. So if you don't have any account, if you are a new user, so first you need to create your account. So how you are going to create your account? By clicking on this sign in button okay when you click on this sign in button what will happen it will take you to the next page i'll just give you a brief when you click on so this this type of page you will see when you click on sign in button this type of page you will see so if you already have a account then you can sign in or if you don't have an account then you have to so if you have an account then you have to sign in you have to choose this okay the sign in option or if you don't have account, then you have to click on this create an account. So I have the account. First, I'll just show you how to create an account if you are a new user. Okay. So to create account, let's click on create account. So it will take you an it will take you to another page. So if you have already Google logged in, if you uh, if you are not having your own email address, you can use your parents' email address. Just click on continue with Google or then you can click on sign up button. Okay, if you don't have Google account, you can click on sign up button. When you click on sign up button, again, it will take you to the next screen. Okay, then you here, then you click on sign up button. First, you need to put email and password here. So to create sign to create account, you need to put email and password here. Okay, if you don't have to continue with Google, you have to put your email address and password here. Then you have to confirm the new password and then you have to hit the sign up. As I already have an account, so that's why it is asking me for password confirmation. Okay, so this is the process how to create an account. Now, if you already have account, so we'll go back and we'll just simply add our email and username here. Okay, we'll simply add our email and username here in this area. And then we are going to click on sign. We are going to click on this sign in button. So let's get started. So let me click on sign in button. Okay, then this kind of interface will open to you. So today we are going to create a very beautiful project, very fun, loving and easy project. So you can click on create and see there are a lot many options to create projects if you are aware of little bit coding then you can choose the any from these and if you want to see lot more options then you have to click on view all projects so if you are new to coding so definitely do subscribe to my channel we are going to learn together we are going to learn how to create simple project simple from complex project okay so let's get started so here you can see these options sprite lab artist app lab game lab so we are going to open our view full list so here you can see a lot many projects are there in front of you. So today we are going to create a basketball project. Okay, so how to create a basketball? Today I am going to teach you that. So when you click on basketball, you will see an untitled project will open in front of you. So first of all, what you have to do, you can see three buttons, rename, share and read. So you need to rename it. So it's my basketball bingo. Okay, so you can name it anything. So whatever name you want to give, you can, and then you have to hit save. Don't forget to hit save, otherwise the name will not get saved. So this, you can see the screen. So this screen is divided into three areas. So this first area, this is known as play area. We call it play area. This is known as play area or we call it run area. Play area or run area. Okay, whenever your project will be finished, you will be able to see the output here, the running part here on this play area. So this is the run button. When you will see the output, when you will hit this run button. Okay, so this is left button, this is right button to move your player left and right. So you have to hit this left and right button right now. They are not enabled because we have not done any coding for these two buttons. Okay, 
So now let's move ahead. This was the first area. Now second area. Second area is the toolbox. We call it block section. So here you will find all the codes in the form of blocks given to you. In the form of blocks given to you, you just need to drag and drop like this. Okay. And then attach it under the desired block. So when you attach it, you just simply need to drag it and drop it and then you will hear a sound. You will hear a sound of attaching also. And the block will be highlighted yellow, yellow when you will try to drag it and drop it under any desired block. So if you don't want, if you think that you have added a wrong block, you can simply drag it back and then delete it in the dust. Okay. So this was your second area. Now third area. So third area that we have is the workspace where you have to drag and drop the tools. Okay. So let's get started. So here in this workspace, I'll tell you what all blocks are given to you. So first one, first block that you can see is the one run. Then when right arrow, when left arrow, when ball hits hand, when ball hits wall, when ball in goal. So all these are what? These are the events, right? That when this thing happen, what should happen? When this thing will be there, what should happen? When left arrow will be kicked, what should happen? When right arrow will be kicked, what? When ball will hit the hand, what should happen? So basically in coding, these are known as event blocks. That something happen, okay? Some action will happen when someone will do that, okay? When I will press the left, or, uh, left arrow, then only my player will move left. When I will press the right arrow, then only my player will move right, okay? In the same way, other event blocks. So, and this when run, this orange block, this is again another event. So event, this event will trigger the run button. So this is the trigger for this run button. Basically, whatever you will attach under this when run, it will happen when you click this button, when you hit this button. Okay. So let's get started. Let's start creating our basketball. So I'll just arrange. You can arrange these blocks the way you are comfortable like this. And like this, okay? So first of all, when run, when what I want when I click on run button, I want my team to be set. So I'll set team as, let me choose Indian Pacers. So when I click on run, I will see, you can see the area changed, okay? You can see my team name is there. Then I, it's a basketball game, so I need to set the player as the hand. So you can choose, there are three different variety of hands, so you can choose anyone that you like. I would prefer this one. Then after that, what we need, we need to set the hand speed. With which speed you want your hand to move. So I want my hand to move fast. So I'll set it to fast. You can set it to slow, very slow, random, normal, very fast. It is your choice. Okay. Then after that, what I need, it's a basketball game. So right now when I click, when I'm clicking on run, nothing is happening. I can't see the ball coming, right? So ball will come when, when we will throw a new ball. Okay, so then again, every time if you are doing any changes in the code, you have to hit the reset and run again. Now you can see the ball is coming. Okay, the ball is coming. So we need to set the ball speed. So I'll set the ball speed as normal speed. So my when run is done. Now reset, run. But I can see my hand is not moving either left and right when I'm clicking on the left and right buttons. So can you guess why? Because we have not added any coding for these two buttons. So where is the coding? They, there we are going to add. When right arrow, what should happen? The player should move right. When left arrow, player should move left. Okay, now when I'll reset, run, you can see now my hand is moving left and Okay, got it? Okay, next, when ball hits the hand, what should happen? The ball should bounce and we'll add the bounce on. When ball hits the wall, when ball hits the wall, what should happen? Again, ball should bounce and then play bounce on. And when ball in the goal, what should happen? A player should get a point. Then what we want? We want throw newer ball and then play cheering sound. So you can choose cheering sound, anything. And suppose ball in goal, you are getting the point. If ball misses the hand, then your opponent player will get a point. So then play, cheering sound, and then again throw new ball, and ta-da, game is done. Let's play now. Okay, so your player, so you should be very quick. 
Okay, so this is how you can play this game. So this was basketball bingo. So hope you enjoyed the game. So see you next time again with another project. So if you like my project, then do subscribe and like the do, do like and subscribe. If you like the project, give a like. Do subscribe to my channel for more such kind of projects. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you.